to avoid conflict was to just try to distance myself from blackness. Oh, I see. And today, are you acting white or black right now? I'm acting like myself. But you sound white. I don't think I sound white. No, you at all. speak pretty white. I think I speak, you speak intelligently. All correctly and intelligent. Do you, do you and not think black people can speak intelligently? No. Well, what am I? But I'm trying I'm to figure out person? now, are you being white with me or are you being black with oh, me? Oh, I speak like myself. So here's what but it you is. you sound white. Okay, I, I disagree with that. I think black people can speak rather intelligently. Where are they? Uh, right here in front of you. No, other than you. My family, all of them. Oh, they act white? I don't think they act white. <laughs> I think they speak intelligently. I'd What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving to new videos. Today, we're going to be checking out Jesse Lee Peterson demolishes pro-black guests instantly. Okay, let's check this video out. So. I would call you a pretty self-hating black man, to be honest. For example, you make statements you like... You call me that? Yes, for sure. Oh, good. You call me that? Yes. What do you call me? A pretty self-hating black man. What the... Uh, yeah, listen. And, and why? It's not to me be offensive. No, I think no, it's no. Just be a, offensive. Okay. And today, are you acting white or black right now? I'm acting like myself. But you sound white. I don't think I sound white No, you speak pretty white. <laughs> this you is going to be interesting. In uh, internal racism... Oh, absolutely. Internalized racism. Absolutely. Because I read that in 2020, you put out a video mm -hmm. on internalized racism. Sure, it was a very painful hatred. experience. Yes. What is internalized racism? Well, for in my case, and I think it can vary from person to person, in my case, internalized racism kind of demonstrated itself in the sense that I had, I had all of these negative stereotypes, specifically about black people, that... Um, I realized it gave me this sort of mentality that I needed to, to impress uh, white people. So then in, a cer in certain circles, I would change my way of speaking. Um, I would carry myself in specific ways so as to distance myself from what I consider to be blackness. And I felt that I realized that my, my, my doing that was based on a lot of these misconceptions and negative stereotypes uh, of black people. And I, I think that realizing that was really painful for me because it, it made me realize there was a part of myself that I was disliking. And so when you be around white people, you were at white? Uh, sure. I would maybe Is just that change what you mean my, by? yeah, sure. I would change my diction, change my interests and, you know, kind of chameleon-like uh, fit in with white people while doing everything to distance myself from blackness. And then when you're around black people, you act black? Sure. And, I think it's called what, code switching. What way will you become black? I think I changed my diction quite a bit. Um, I think my musical choices would be different. Um, I like all genres of music, except for like pretty much heavy metal. Um, but like, for example, I like country music. I wouldn't listen to country music around black people. I wouldn't like volunteer that I like country music back in the day. Um, just those kinds of things where it was just anything culturally black, I would, I would intentionally uh, just kind of distance myself from it. Really? And what made you do that? Um, I don't know. I was raised in a pretty white society, uh, the way I, where, I, where I grew up, and I felt like I had experienced a decent amount of racism. And I think part of my response to avoid conflict was to just try to distance myself from blackness. Oh, I see. And today, are you acting white or black right now? I'm acting like myself. But you sound white. I don't think I sound white. No, at you all. speak pretty white. I think I speak, you speak intelligently. All correctly and intelligent. Do you, do you and... not think black people can speak intelligently? No. Well, what am I? But I'm trying I'm to figure out now, are you being white with me or are you being black with oh, me? Oh, I speak like myself. So here's what but it you is. you sound white. Okay, I, I disagree with that. I think black people can speak rather intelligently. Where are they? Right here in front of you. No, other than you. My family, all of them. Oh, they act white? I don't think they act white. I think they speak intelligently. I'd say this. So my mother, um, very college ed educated woman, she really instilled very much. And her father, who wasn't college educated, were really, really big on just speaking properly. And I think yeah. we grew up with this as like a, you know, part of just something that was necessary. We got chastised by other children for speaking white. Other black children. Other black children, for yeah. sure. And I think those sorts of things, it created some sort of distance. So in the sense that you start feeling like a, lo a loss of a sense of belonging because certain people are chastising you for speaking differently than yeah. they do. Especially being kids and growing up like Yeah, that. for sure. And I think you start internalizing a bunch of those things and you start feeling like, man, maybe I'm not black enough or maybe I'm, and all of those kinds of things. And um, so I think I've, I've overcome a lot of that. That's so do you identify thinking. more with white or black? I'm, I'm a black man and I identify with blackness. You do? You I just realized that all of this is a black part of the do black Do you experience. date white girls? No, I do not. 
You don't, you don't date white girls? No, I date black girls exclusively. When you were white, did you date white girls? Um, I, I don't know, think I was ever white, but I would say when I was around white people, um, I, found, I found everyone attractive. I think probably the last three years when I kind of moved more black exclusive. And so do you, at one time you dated white girls? Were sure. you more white? Sure, I've been with white women. You've dated white women? Mm-hmm. Amazing. <laughs> Is it? I think, you know, they're women. What? They're women. They're just like anyone else. Do you date Mexican women? Oh my gosh, those were my favorite in high school. My Spanish used to be on point. See? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what is self-hatred? Um, I would think self-hatred is, again, oh my gosh, I think one of the easiest way of exemplifying it, there was this doll test that happened with these young children where they were doing, like I think from like four to six to seven years old, and they had them answering questions about attributes of dolls, white and black. And the kids are able to immediately, like when they ask them about negative attributes, they assign those to the black dolls. But the thing that was the most harmful about one of those things I saw was there was a black kid, she was, watch, she was doing the doll test, and she said, um, that, like, so she was assigning all the negative attributes to the blackness, and then when they asked her, which doll more looks like you, she pointed to the black doll. So she was calling herself, in that sense, like, you know, maybe indirectly, mean and bad and misbehaved and all of these negative attributes. And I think that a lot of times black people can do that. I would call you a pretty self-hating black man, to be honest. Because, for example, you make statements You like, call me that? Yes, for sure. Oh, good. You call me that? Yes. What do you call me? A pretty self-hating black man. What the? Uh, yeah, listen. And, and why? It's not to me be offensive. No, I think no, no. It's just be a, offensive. Okay, all right. But it's just and, that and you why? say things like, I'm black and I'm slow or I'm black and I'm dumb and it's like you assign these negative attributes towards black people which are just not universally applied we could look at white people in Appalachia and see something that would that we could see some pretty dumb white people there too so when I, I think say dumbness I'm, is just a just a general thing that can apply to all humanity when I say I'm black and slow mm -hmm. the black people think I'm talking about all blacks I think when you say you're black and you're slow, you're, you're black and you're slow. We recognize that there are these stereotypes that already exist, and so then when you reaffirm that thing, your white audience views that thing and says to themselves, "See, so black people are pretty slow." <laughs> they tend to apply those things. So generally, you see, I when I say. say I'm black and slow, people will assume white people and black that to people all. think I'm talking about all black people. Not, I, it's not. I, I recognize that you obviously have to know the difference between that, but I don't think everyone's thinking so deeply about it. And I would say that some of your constituency will assign those attributes across the board. And why do you think that? Because we already see that it happens on a regular basis. What do you mean by that? Well, for example, some of the times where you will mention things like criminality within black men, right, or criminality within whatever, and so you have these people that just automatically assume that black people in general are this way. Um, and so then it's hard for people to distinguish between individuals when they're thinking generally, and I would but say that's why. But how do you know that that's what white people think, though? Well, so there's a number of studies that have already suggested things like, uh, obviously, when it comes to like hiring, there were studies that like demonstrated that even black and white people with the exact same resumes were when applying for a job, the black people were getting 50 percent less callbacks because black was because some of these people in these positions have negative stereotypes about black people which makes them feel like they shouldn't extend to them the opportunity of, of their direct employment. So do you think that if black people were to stop being that way, being all mean and loud mouth and dirty and hating the whites and being there's late. that black hatred. I mean, there's that self-hatred I was talking being about. Being late. Hmm. Was and, I on time today? And complaining. Do you think if white people acted differently, the people, the, rest, the normal people would see them differently? I think black people already act differently. So we already recognize that black women are literally the, some of the most um, educated demographic in the country right now by a percentage. We recognize already that, uh, again, criminality is not very common within black culture. It's disproportionately found in black culture. It's but very if we, common. It's disproportionately found in black it's culture. Disproportionately common. Disproportionately found in black culture. But do you think that the average black person as a criminal? Yeah. So you would say more than 50% of black people are criminals? Maybe a little bit more than that. Oh my lord. So, okay. But let me ask you this, I can uh, see that lack of information is where that self hatred comes from. But let from. me come back to something. <laughs> um, if black people were to act civilized, I think we do. do you think the rest of the world would see them in that way? I think black people act civilized. No, you're not asking the question. <laughs> if they stop robbing and stealing and the majority killing of black people don't rob and hating cops steal. and 
or kill. And begging for affirmative action and reparation and free style. Yeah. Would the rest of the world see them as normal people if they act normal? Do you think, do you think, first off, I'm just gonna say, the average black person doesn't steal. Criminality is still gonna be the minority of African Americans. So if we take 100 African Americans, not 50% of them are gonna be criminals, right? So if black so people then that were means the majority act, of them aren't criminals. If they were to act normal, would we see them differently? I don't, what do you mean by act normal? Stop being blaming and begging and robbing and killing. And, so and the want, majority of black people don't they, rob, kill, When they go into the schools, beg. When they want to get into the white schools, mm -hmm. we have to lower the standards to let them in because they say the SAT school oh, is white. Jesse, the, uh, who, everything white. Who's the largest recipient of affirmative action? That's not what I asked him. Really quickly, no, I got you, but this is really, really related you to what you're saying. That, Hold on, I really need quick. an answer for that. I got first. you. Just listen to this really quickly. No, 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 no. Okay, if go ahead. If they acted differently, would we treat them differently? I don't believe or that. See them. I don't believe that black people act the way you're saying. So I can't. I don't understand. So that your question doesn't really seem well founded. You don't know we have to lower the standard to let them into the white schools. It's crazy that you say that when the largest recipient of affirmative action is white women. Did you know that? Do you know that we have to lower the standard to let the blacks in? Are we lowering the standard to let white women into You're school? You're not answering the question. I don't, that's not the case. No, we don't lower it for the white women, just the black ones. I, I listen, Jesse, I scored in the top 5% of my entire state. So I didn't, they didn't have but to that lower any sort of action. thing. That, no, 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 no. I, uh, yeah, I guarantee you, you didn't earn it. I outscored all of my state on state testing I was in the top five percentile. Right. So while you might say that's affirmative action. But that's action, not real though. What's not real? Because behind the curtain they lowered the standard. They, they saw there was a black student, oh. so they lowered it. <laughs> I don't think you have an accurate understanding no, of I'm how affirmative you, action works. At UCLA they lowered the standard so low now you can't find your way out. Oh, so that the blacks can get thing. in. Okay, I, listen, I'm sorry. You don't understand how affirmative action works. I don't know how to no, I don't I do really understand it. how it works. You think that lower they lower the standard. Do you think so they lower the test scores or they lower the standard for when Everything at this point. At, at so they, so was, they just raise the test scores of black kids? No, they lower it for the blacks. They bring it, okay. I mean, they lower it for the whites and bring it up for the blacks. Like so the they, test scores. So they can pretend that the blacks are earning it. The test scores? Yes. Oh, okay. If it wasn't for affirmative action, the blacks would not be in white schools. Oh, okay. I, I mean, you, I don't know how else to engage with it. I, I think uh, I, I outscored like the vast majority of white kids. I, I outscored the vast majority of the state. But that's hard to believe because you're black, and I know that. That's that self hatred. I know that blacks are not earning their way. Oh, but see, that's that internalized racism. You why is that internalized to, to well, face because, reality? No, it's not reality. Face reality, Jesse. Who begged for affirmative action? So, who begged for affirmative action? White women. They no. get it the most. They got it because they rob everybody use blacks to get what they want when they want dirty stuff, but who, what race is fighting for affirmative action? White women, because they get it the most. You're not being honest. I'm being completely honest. No, it's black people. Do you think that the- Where do you, do you live in America? Of course. You don't act like it. Huh? You don't act like it. How do I act? Like you don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, this, this is, this was really, really interesting. Just Lee. Salih Peterson, um, checking this video out is is is, is amazing. It's it's really amazing. The, the speeches, everything. I for me, I, I feel like um, the black. Should I, call, I don't call him black, but I, the 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 guest, the guest uh, uh, right there. He's he was playing the victim card at first. He was playing the victim card of saying to internalize racism. Was that his statement? Yeah. Was playing the fitting card that when he's around black people, he act like black when he's around white, he act as white. It's it he, for me. I'll, I'll say this is his own self esteem. Probably his self esteem, and it's playing that victim card. That uh, if he's like white, out we're more than him. You see, you see the funny thing about this is that he he said he has the highest score. Yeah, and his class and stuff like that. Whereas when he's around black people, he acts as black. When he's around white people, he acts as white. It makes no sense. So he was playing the victim card at first. Um, just Lee was just attacking him everywhere, every single place. Uh, for me, I, I feel like black people are smart. No matter how they, they see it as being a black person or being a white person, we are all smart. We are all human beings. You understand? But the aspect of knowing down the standard for black people to enter i heard about that that's that that's a serious that is that is serious guys 
I feel like black people for me they ain't they ain't everything that they that they get. Um they are they are they are different. Black are different. Um the way of shouting, the way they talk, the way they act. Um if it comes to stealing and okay, abusing, that that is general. It's not just fixed on the black people, it's a general art. It is human being as a whole. So um I would say JC Lee Peterson was just trying to get the guests to talk more. Because the aspect of him seeing the black, majority of black people commit crime, uh, I think I don't support that. No, it's not true. Majority of black people don't, do not commit crime. Majority of black people do not steal. They do not kill. No. But I know black um, societies is really tough and they commit crime. True. But not the majority of them. The reason why the rate of um, stealing and bad things that's happening in the black families is because we are single parents and from the mothers. Uh, fathers are not around. Fathers are in jail or they are being divorced by the mother. Fathers are far away from the children. So the aspect of this um, rate of crimes, it's it to keep on increasing because of how the system idealized, idealized motherhood and the single parenting is really increasing. The baby mama's aspect is also increasing. So this crime aspect is going to keep on increasing. Jason Lee was just trying to get on this guy's nerves. And he, he did it pretty well. He did it pretty, pretty well. This was interesting to watch. I, I, I lo- the guest right there, he was playing a victim card, and I do not appreciate that. Aside the victim card, um, it's where I've spoken. Uh, it's it kind of like speak like someone who knows what he's talking about. I like that. But Jesse Lee really attacked him. <laughs> I, I love how Jesse Lee attacked him. Uh, Making him feel like, stop playing the victim card. It's exactly what Jesse Lee was trying to tell him. Stop playing the victim card. But Jesse Lee did not point it straight to him. It was just chewing out tantrums. This was an amazing to watch. I loved the entire video. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all